Welcome to part 5 of a 7-part series on anticoagulants. In this video, we discuss direct thrombin inhibitors. Let's begin with the following take-home points. Direct thrombin inhibitors inhibit thrombin. The only currently available oral direct thrombin inhibitor is dabigatran. In the United States, the available parenteral direct thrombin inhibitors are igatraban and bivalrudin. Let's revisit a simplified version of the coagulation cascade, starting with the extrinsic pathway factor, tissue factor. Tissue factor complexes with factor 7, activating it to 7A. The tissue factor factor 7A complex activates factor 10 to 10A. Then 10A, together with its cofactor 5A, works to activate prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin. Let's bring in part of the intrinsic pathway with factor 9, which works with its cofactor 8A to further activate 10 to 10A. Now let's discuss the mechanism of action of the direct thrombin inhibitors. As their name implies, they act against thrombin, thus cutting off thrombin generation and fibrin formation. Examples of direct thrombin inhibitors include the oral agent dabigatran, and the parenteral agents are gantraban and bivalrudin. The only currently available oral agent is dabigatran. Dabigatran is about 80% renally excreted and has a half-life of approximately 12 to 17 hours. Dabigatran is a substrate for P-glycoprotein, so P-glycoprotein inducers like rifampin, which reduce dabigatran's anticoagulant effect should be avoided. Dabigatran's reversal agent is idarocizumab. Dabigatran indications include treatment of non-valvular atrial fibrillation. Dabigatran is also indicated in venous thromboembolism prophylaxis and treatment. The available parenteral agents include argantraban and bivalirudin. Argantraban is metabolized in the liver. It has a half-life of about 24 minutes. Once initiated, argatraban achieves steady state in about 1 to 2 hours. When the infusion is stopped, the APTT normalizes within 2 hours. Bivalrudin is metabolized by proteolytic cleavage. Proteolytic cleavage is the process of breaking peptide bonds between amino acids. Like argantraban, bivalrudin has a half-life of about 25 minutes. Once initiated, bivalirudin will reach steady state in one to two hours. When the infusion is stopped, the APTT will normalize in about one hour. Both argantraban and bivalirudin find indications in percutaneous coronary intervention. They are also used in the management of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. In summary, Direct thrombin inhibitors inhibit thrombin. The only currently available oral direct thrombin inhibitor is dabigatran. In the United States, the available parenteral direct thrombin inhibitors are argatraban and bivalirudin. This concludes our video on anticoagulants with a focus on the direct thrombin inhibitors.